Today's morning devotional. Christ's method of teaching. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7. In all the sermons and in all the Bible studies, let the people see that on every point a plain, thus saith the Lord, is given for the faith and doctrines which we advocate. This was the method of Christ's teaching. As he spoke to the people, they would question as to his meaning. To those who were humbly seeking for light, he was always ready to explain his words. But Christ did not encourage criticism or caviling, nor should we. When men try to provoke a discussion of contract overt points of doctrine, tell them that the meeting was not appointed for that purpose. When you do answer a question, be sure to have the hearers see and acknowledge that it is answered. Do not let a question drop, telling them to ask it again. Feel your way step by step, and know how much you have gained. We must talk the truth in private and in public, presenting every argument, urging every motive of infinite weight, to draw men to the Savior uplifted on the cruel cross. God desires every man to attain unto eternal life. Mark how all through the word of God there is manifest the spirit of urgency, of imploring men and women to come to Christ, to deny appetites and passions that corrupt the soul. With all our powers we must urge them to look unto Jesus and to accept his life of self-denial and sacrifice. We must show that we expect them to give joy to the heart of Christ by using every one of his gifts in honoring his name. Let much time be spent in prayer and close searching of the word. Let all obtain the real facts of faith in their own souls through belief that the Holy Spirit will be imparted to them because they have a real hungering and thirsting after righteousness. Teach them how to surrender themselves to God, how to believe, how to claim the promises. Let the deep love of God be expressed in words of encouragement, in words of intercession. Let there be far more wrestling with God for the salvation of souls. Work disinterestedly, determinately, with a spirit never to let go. Compel souls to come into the marriage supper of the Lamb. Let there be more praying, believing, and receiving, and more working together with God. Men must be convicted of the evil of sin. The eyes of the transgressor must be enlightened. Let all who have been drawn to Christ tell the story of his love. Let everyone who has felt the converting power of Christ upon his own soul do what he can in the name of the Lord.